Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here. I'm Emily with Fiona and we are going to do those November nails uh, for her with a bit of uh, jumper and a jacket look. So she had those trending uh, cartoon nails, uh, that was a full set of those orangey, uh, orangey nails and now we are going to do the rebalance. I need to remove this color first. So just remove all the gel polish, remove any liftings. Actually, I've got some lifting here. I'm using the safety bit to remove the color. At the same time, you want to thin them out a little bit on the bottom. So you've got less hand filing. And I need to get rid of those lifting here. Then the middle finger. Fiona does some hairdressing and her nails last actually quite good in the amount of the time. That's why I like sometimes record on her. And she always gets a really fashion set. <laughs> She likes her bling, she likes the trending news. So if there is any trends coming up, she's the first one to get it. And I've got a bit of lifting in that corner here as well, so I have to make sure it's all gone. The easiest way to remove, I'm actually happy we've got some lifting because sometimes I, I get so lucky that's for the videos there is no trouble on the nails. So I'm trying to file below the lifting so the lifting kind of fall out on its own. Okay, once this is filed we can push back the cuticles and do a bit of e-file around that area. So I just got my cuticle pusher push them back and then using the e-file we are going to file one side first sometimes I touch this with the e-file as well the corners so remove any cuticle on the nail plate thank you put it back into the reverse and then file the other side You can see she's hairdresser because of the is <laughs> that's a scissor yeah. cuts, yeah. <laughs> so you have been busy busy. <laughs> okay, now we are going to file the coffin shape and remove those lifting here. So one side, other side. Then shorten it a little bit. That you can already see how much the shape has changed. File away the lifting here in the corner. You cannot, guys, lift any lifting. Like you know, sometimes we keep filing and filing, and then lifting never disappear. But you cannot lift any loose places and replace it with the fresh product. It has to be completely gone. Okay, that's it gone, the corner of the file to scratch the surface of the natural nail. File one side, other side. Straighten it up. Remove loose product. Uh, this set was done on the tips, was it? 
was tips we done it last time. Yeah. So depending, like I sometimes sculpt, sometimes I will do the tips. And then this one as well. Again, we've got a lifting here in the corner. Always thin up the free edge because otherwise you will have too much product. See the, the lifting kind of jump out because we have filed it below and this way you don't have to file as much uh, on the natural needle. It works magic guys because when I start doing the needles and I had some lifting on the needles I was keep filing and I was pushing the lifting down the way which was making it like never ending filing. Uh, so if you cut out the lifting is much easier to get rid of that. Okay, give the scratches to the natural needle. Remove the dust and then we are going to trim the cuticles. That's actually a big chunk off. Just cleaning everything what is on the nail plate. Like, make sure you never remove too much, you don't want to touch the living tissue. And when it's necessary, I will do the cuticle second time after I finish the filing. Okay, final check. And that's them ready for the product application. So remove the dust, use the blue scrap to dehydrate the new plate nice and squeaky clean. And then using an extra nail prep, we are going to dehydrate them again. So extra nail prep. And then wait for it to dry. Sometimes the fan actually speed up the drying uh, process. And then universal air bond. So universal air bond will give us a good adhesion of the natural, um, of the product to the natural nail. If it's needed, you can apply the universal air bond twice. And the gel which we have used, it was the milky pink. And that's the same one I'm going to use it. So it's a meal keeping. Fiona is actually cold today <laughs> and her hands are freezing, um, which will make the gel to don't self level as much as, um, as normal it does. So I have to go to the corner here where I had this lifting and really place the product there. Place the product through the entire nail. Do the same on the other one and I can feel it. The gel goes really, mm, really hard. Cut, cut those free edge. Don't lift up. Thank you. <laughs> She's killing my fan today. <laughs> uh, as you guys know, I have been overdone it and my thumbs are still very sore. It goes purple sometimes. <laughs> I'm picking up the scoop of the product straight away and I'm going to rebuild uh, my apex. 
so rebuild the apex area and you can see that the gel just doesn't move i have to really keep moving the gel because of her hands being so so cold press it harder to remove any excess of the product I actually don't like working with the gel which is so stiff I prefer it when it does self-level for me so again fill up those apex and then press much harder to remove any excess of the product because we don't want to file as much and then another scoop Fill that apex area and then press it harder to kind of blend it in. I've got still lots of time because the gel doesn't level and I'm just filling up this corner a little bit more. And then we can cure them 60 seconds. So to save the time, we are going to start painting those nails as well. I'm just cleaning them with the blue scrub. And you can see it, we have done some check it look in here. And I have used the, that's a nail perfect gel polishes. So I have used 116 color on this one. So let's paint this 116. So 116 and then we'll do the check it look in here as well. They are much thinner in consistency than the new perfect um, gel polishes up to 143 number because that was the, um, now we've, with the upvoted we've got the continuation of the new perfect ones but I do really use them a lot in a salon actually <laughs> and then we've got 117 and it has a tiny little bit of the sparkle in them like i really like this color for this time of the year you can see there is a tiny bit of sparkle in here so we'll do the combination of the check it look and the jumper so my hand is cooked now change and we can give them a shape remove the inhibition layer and then using a file we are going to reshape them nice so again one side and other side bring the side walls like uh, a bit higher so they are nice and thin you can see again the shape has changed a lot short the free edge and i want to show you how thick the nails are i hope you can see it guys how thick no you can't see it you'll need to go maybe this way and this way they we are i want to show you how thick they become when we shorten them so you can see once they finish they are nice and thin and then when we shorten them they're really thick uh, so i'm always doing this motion to thin them out okay always this motion to thin this part down you don't want this part to be too thick Blend everything around the cuticle area. Like check the side walls. Obviously we've got the natural nail, which is up to here now. Um, and usually for a coffin shape, I would say three, maybe a maximum four times we can get a kind of a shape. Uh, Obviously, when we're doing it freshly, it's always the nicest one. And then with each rebalance, it's more difficult to reshape it into nice coffin shape. So eventually, after a third or fourth set, uh, I'm just doing a removal and I'm doing a fresh set. This doesn't affect the um, almond shape as much, especially when the clients go for a shorter nails. 
I would I would keep rebalancing them um, until we reach a natural nail and then eventually we've got only a natural nail underneath with the gel overlay so I've got lots of maybe keep it in there just in case so we don't get it dusty <laughs> okay so I'm filing this nail as well like this thin out the free edge I'm actually going to show you the filing maybe on those two nails only you don't need to see it three you can see it how slowly the shape starts to improve taper it a little bit more and then using a buffer we are going to smooth the entire surface so I like to use this buffer first like file it all over really decent and fast and then around the cuticle area I like to use the gray buffer so I can really reach those places like and go and almost buff away anything like from this area so it's nice and clean buff it around the cuticle area and then you can see it I've got some raggy bits and pieces which I will be able to remove as well before we start painting okay so look how this area is blended and you cannot see where the product is starting and where the natural nail is and that's how it should be okay so blend that in blend it in And this way, like any raggy bits and pieces of the cuticle are coming off. Sometimes with the buffer, I might actually remove them as well. So that's why I never do it too excessive in the first go. But now once they exposed, sorry, I took a really dusty wipe, all the dust on there. I can just finish the cleaning this area. So it's nice and no raggy bits and pieces. Okay, first one done. And so does the second one as well. Okay, I'm just going to do the exactly same on this new one, then we can move on into the design part. Okay, that's them ready for painting. So we are going to swap some of the colors. And I want those 116 here and here. Okay, so paint this one there. Normally I like to wait like a couple minutes for the dust to come down just so it doesn't fly over the nails We didn't wait at this time so I've got some dust particles Like make sure they are gone Hundred seventeen The sparkly brown now we can swap the hands so since I have in my hand the brown one I'm starting painting with the brown one just to save the time and don't swap my hands uh, on the gel polishes Ooh, they got dusty.
perfect change. And again, paint with this color first. I will be swapping the designs so they will be kind of same idea but on different fingers slightly different thing I quite like those uh, kind of swapping design idea as long as they go together so always remember you have to kind of do a very similar kind of patterns on those nails just so it looks nice <laughs> And then the brown one. Great, change your hands. On the piece of the back of the foil, we are going to put this color in here. So those brown. And then some white French gel. And using the D-liner brush, we are going to start painting the designs. So on this one here, I'm going to go half-half. Just so the things join together. Sorry, I need the hand a bit straight. And then the line in here. Perfect. And so this one is going to be a full check it new. When painting the lines is kind of you have to almost hold the breath so your hands don't shake. Perfect change. And I keep swapping the hands. So I'm also needing this color here mixed with the white, but let's do some. Make sure here that will be for our jumper and then white for the checkered look.
on this one I want to add a touch of the white into my brown and after we top coat it we can paint the jumper look Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, okay, so this one we are going to use this mixture here, the brown and the white as well. When you're painting over the previous lines, like make sure you kind of slow down so you don't have too much, uh, too big jump. Perfect change. And then the jumper. We are not going to top coat the jumper because we want a bit of those texture in there. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm painting number fours. So lots of number fours. Now I wouldn't do it with the gel polish on its own because if you do it with the gel polish on its own it wouldn't last as well. I'm using the paint French gel because it's much stronger. And then couple dots on the side. Perfect change. Okay, don't move. Sorry, the line works is always the most difficult one. I think it's easier to paint the fringe than uh, do the line work. <laughs> Okay, on this one we are going to go even more difficult, guys. So um, I can top coat it now. Change. This one is ready to be top coated as well.
perfect change have a check it look on this one more to the left side so we are going to use the brown and the mixture of the brown Okay, again, we are not moving. Sorry, Fiona. Right. It's a sort of design which I cannot even talk much. When you're painting those lines, try to sit your client as straight as possible. So does yourself try to sit as straight as possible. Change. Okay, we can do the jumper in here. So I've got the same color which we use it with lots of white in there. I think it's just a perfect set for those kind of in between the seasons time because it's still nice and old to me not Christmassy set I find it to be really difficult to understand for me how to paint the jumper nails uh, when I started as well. So those number fours guys is a really great trick for you. Now very extremely thin line. To join the things up and the line on the other side. I hope I'm still in camera. Oh my goodness. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so we've got the connection of the checkered look and the jumper. I quite like it actually, change. Yeah. It's different. Um, so same color in here. Like a very light one. We can pop coat this one because it's finished. Do some white line. Gosh, I can't imagine doing lines without of the deliner brush now. I used to so struggle with the lines. I mean, they, they're still really difficult uh, because it's something very symmetrical. <laughs> Shana loves moving. And a very thin one. Great. Okay, this one is nice. Change. We've got top coat, top coat. We've got top coat, no top coat. This hand is actually almost ready. I'm just going to cure it, a final cure. Perfect change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then on this one, we've got the top coat. So we have to put the top coat on this one, but I can't now. So let's do the jumper here now. And I'm going to do the difficult one. Okay, so white into my brown. 
mix it well and this one is really difficult because of its shape so we are going to paint um, reverse French paint it nice and thin first And then you can just thicken it up a little bit. Okay, paint another one underneath of that. And then touch it up. And using the same gel we are going to do the jumper but this time made out of very thin lines. So one line, line, line. And then the other lines going different directions, so. And we've got a slightly different plate on this one. Perfect change. After this hand is properly cooked, we can use the UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer from the um, jumper nails. And they are absolutely fine to be not top coated, guys. Like, you don't need to top coat them. I change. I mean, you don't need to change the other hand, it's finished. Uh, we have to top coat this nail because we want to do the jumper on the other half. I actually love the ones with the jumper and the uh, checkered look the most, I think. Okay, change. We can clean this hand. So use a wipe, clean it everything really well. And then use a cuticle oil. You apply it in that looks something different I take the other hand and we can do the jumper on this one so we are using those 116 mixed with white and we do another jumper here so let's do the line no let me do the line later on I love this one. I think this one is my favorite. The connection of two different design in a one nail. And then the line. Look how slowly I'm trying to go. And the line. 
I love this one. This like those uh, middle one and the ring finger, they are my favorite ones, uh, definitely, because it's a connection. Uh, let me know, guys. Uh, cook it in, and let me know, guys, which uh, which nail you like the most, because we've got so many different things going on in here. Uh, so let me know in the comments below which uh, idea was your favorite one. Either the check it look the. Oh, we didn't add the dots. Oh my goodness. Give me them back. How could I? I felt like something is missing there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just using this mixture and we are going to add the dots. Yay. They're just finishing it off. Like really finishing it off. So try to do the small the smaller as you go. Yeah, that's nice and pretty now. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite one because we have actually created so many different ones. We need to clean them all from the dust and everything underneath and on the top and then take a nice and beautiful thumbnail uh, picture. So yeah, I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.